Welcome to this edition of Morehead Today. I'm your host, Haley Murphy. On today's show, we have Godspell director as well as some of the cast members, an interview with documentarian Mimi Pickering, and musical guest Corey Wright. All this and more here on Morehead Today. Stay tuned. Hello, 006 here. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite gadgets, the Eagle Club. Speaker Bucks are a cool gadget to use on campus, anywhere from vending machines to the bookstore. They are even accepted at restaurants around Moorhead. Speaker Bucks are way safer than cash and have gotten me out of many sticky situations. Until next time. Welcome back to Morehead Today. Last night I had the opportunity to sit down with Apple Shop documentarian Mimi Pickering to discuss her most recent work, Anne Braden, Southern Patriot. Let's take a look at that. My most recent film done with Anne Lewis is Anne Braden, Southern Patriot, which looks at um, this very important woman from Kentucky who played a a big role in the civil rights movement and then and the ongoing movement uh, up until the day she died in 2006. Well, Anne Braden was somebody that Anne Lewis and I knew and uh, we knew some of her story and how active she was. Uh, she was a real, a white woman um, born and raised in the South who really, as she says, transformed herself and joined the beloved community and, and fought for racial justice for her whole life and really an amazing story and, and we kept wondering well why isn't someone making a film about her? Somebody needs to make a film about her and um, it just wasn't happening. I think she was turning people down because she always said I don't have time for that but um, eventually we talked her into to doing a film with us and um, so we started that in about 2005 and then and filmed her a number of interviews, but then and then she suddenly passed away in 2006. So we had the challenge of of um, completing the film without her, and we were very lucky. And other filmmakers donated footage, and uh, finally we were able to release it. We have a website called AnnBradenFilm.org. They can go there and get information. It was on KET, um, so it might still be available through KET online. And, and Apple Shop distributes it, so um, it is available from Apple Shop. And we, we have an online store, or you can call, and we, we make it available. Yo, why are you looking at bags, bro? What you need is a chick magnet. You put me in the room and boom, chicks. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back to Morehead Today. We have with us now our segment producer, Chad Hedrick. How are you today, Chad? I'm good, Haley. How are you? Doing good. So you visited the MSU Theater Department, correct? That I did. And what did you do down there? Well, this week I attempted to learn one of the numbers from Godspell. And by attempted, how did that go? Well, um, let's just take a look. All right. I'm standing here right now with the ever so lovely Caroline Clay. Uh -huh. Caroline, <laughs> thank you for doing this with us tonight. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Okay, so what is your exact involvement with the cast of Godspell the Musical? 
Well, I'm a cast member in Godspell the Musical. I play the part of Morgan, which has now become Caroline, so that's my role. I'm also dance captain for the whole show, and I'm paint charge, and so I'm required to paint the set. So. You're, you're not being stretched too thin or anything, are you? Oh, always, oh. always, always. Okay, so what are you, you going to teach me right here, right now? I'm going to teach you the stump. It's what the Pharisees do. We have three girls playing the Pharisees. Their names are Ashley, Ashley, and Shelby. And they play basically like the institution. They are the ones that are going to take down Jesus. So it's a cappella, and they do a stomp, like a traditional stomp, to show like structure. They are the top dogs. Okay. Ready? Is this easy, hard, or? It's pretty difficult if you've never done it before. All right, Caroline. Go easy on me. Ready to stomp? I'm ready to stomp. Right, let's do it. Well, okay. You can get it, ready? Okay. So we take the right foot. Right foot. And stomp. Clap. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Yeah? Well, let me. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. There we go. You got it. That's right. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. All right. So you do stomp with the right foot. Clap. Hit your foot. Very close. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stomp. Clap, hit, stomp, clap, hit, right, left, right. Okay? okay. You want to try to put it together? Sure. Okay, this, this is what we have to do for auditions, so you feel my pain, right? I, I'm feeling it. <laughs> so from the beginning, we've got stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, hit, stomp, clap, hit, right, left, right. Yes? So it's... Yes, exactly. You got Boom. it. Chad right. is a natural at this. I'm a natural. Okay, so. I could replace somebody. I'm replacing you. Are you the understudy? Okay, understudy. Be, yeah. My understudy. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, clap. Hit, stomp, clap. Stomp, clap. Yeah, close. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Stomp. Okay. Clap. Hit. Right, left, stomp, clap, hit, stomp, clap, hit. You ready to do that speed? Ready, Josh? Sure. Okay, okay, ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. I got that whole. Uh, you hey, got that. You, you can, got that last hey, You got a I good finish. You that. If you, I, well, uh, I'm that good. You're that I'm good. I'm that good. That's if how you got a strong finish and a strong end. Nobody will remember that. Right. That's right. Jump. It's my motto. Stuff. He did so Thank well. Thank you. Thank I'm you so, so proud much, of you. <laughs> so well, Chad, I think it's safe to say you're never going to win Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I figured that. So maybe I'll just stick to the whole. TV hosting. Definitely thing, your thing. All. Well, actually, uh, after the break, we have a little surprise guest to show us how it's really done. We'll be right back after this. It never gets old, huh? Nope. It kind of makes you want to... Break into song? Yup. I love the sunset. I love Eagle Lake. I love the forest. I love when eagles play. I love the campus! And all its sights and sounds. boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada I love philosophy. We love diversity. I love English. And all its weird words. I love the music. And all its melodies. Boom de yada, boom de yada. Boom de yada, boom de yada. I love fraternities. I love sororities. I love to draw things. And all the athletes. I love Moorhead. It's such a pretty place. Boom de yada, 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 boom de yada.
I said, uh. awesome. Everyone be sure to check out Godspell. It's first night is October 1st at the Lucille Cottle Little Theater at 7.30 p.m. Thank you guys. Thanks. We'll right back after the break. Breaking news. Events happening in Moorhead. Special guests. Weather updates. There when you need it. Channel 77. News Center. Thursdays from 5 to 5.30. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. With us now, we have Godspell director Sean Parker and cast member Caroline Clay. Hi, Caroline. Hi, how, how are you? you? Good. I'm, I'm great. Hello, Haley. Hi, Sean. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Well, as we know, the upcoming play for this semester is Godspell. And my first question is for you, Sean. How do you, the plays are they chosen? Uh, well, we sit at uh, around a big table and talk about where we're going to do the productions and, of course, budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we decide from that and what's right for the students as well, you know. Should we do a period piece, you know, should we do a musical, that kind of stuff. So. Do you try to, like, mix it up every year, the different genres? Yes, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, Caroline, what is Godspell actually about? Godspell is a re, it's kind of like a newer, like, Broadway retelling of the classic story of the final days of Jesus Christ, you know, it goes in through the parables that we already know and um, based on um, the book of Matthew and then through the crucifixion and um, it's a story everyone knows but it's retold in a new kind of way where we've got like, um, it's set in modern day. Mm -hmm. So all the new stuff, like we got the Looney Tunes stuff in there, we've got... <laughs> Um, we have Justin Bieber Justin jokes. Justin Bieber <laughs> jokes. We got Barack Obama jokes. You know Donald things that Trump. people know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even people who aren't familiar with maybe the biblical stories would definitely enjoy this as well. Definitely. Yeah. This is a revised version too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As opposed cool. to the one it was started in the '70s uh, by John Michael T Telebach and uh, f uh, the famous uh, composer uh, Stephen Schwartz. Awesome. Well, how does the audition process go for these plays? Well, everybody's got to come out, you know. <laughs> this particular audition was, uh, first we had to hear people sing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we had uh, some, they'd come in pr with something prepared to sing. And then from there we have callbacks. Uh, and then from there we had, for this particular show, we did some imp improvisation games just to see how people were fast on their toes, <laughs> you know. So there's some improv involved in the play? Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah, and the creation of it as well, too, as we've been rehearsing. So. All right. Well, what's your role, Caroline, in the play? Well, I play Caroline, actually, because <laughs> on Broadway, what they do is it's just kind of like woman one, woman two, and then whoever gets cast in those roles, that's your name. Except for Jesus and Judas, everyone else is their name. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm Caroline Clay playing Caroline. Although my character is actually... I, well, I talked to Sean about it, about like a concept. I'm loosely basing her off of Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. because I'm kind of like the, you know, the more seductive one, and I have a really 
scandalous song that I sing, well, kind of scandalous, um, in all and all in good fun. But um, don't want to give too much away, but there will be some, some pole dancing involved. Interesting. So. <laughs> well, when does the play begin? Next uh, Tuesday, October Tuesday. 1st, and runs through Sunday, October 6th. Uh, the Sunday one is a matinee, uh, begins at 2 o'clock. You want to get here a little early. Uh, and the uh, night shows start at 7.30. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. That's all the time we have. We'll be right back after the break. Moorhead State University has several regional campuses across Kentucky, as well as a huge selection of classes offered on the web through their secure online services. MoorheadState.edu also offers several books to read, as well as an online card catalog through its campus library. MSU also provides students with their very own email address. Be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube links for more information. MoorheadState.edu Welcome back to Moorhead today. We have with us here Miss Corey Wright, a traditional music major. How are you doing today, Corey? I'm doing good. Thank you. So, how did you get started playing? Um, I first started singing when I was about three years old, and then about two years ago, I picked up the guitar and because I started writing music, and I um, thought, well, if I'm going to write music, I'm going to need something to accompany myself. You can't always have a guitar player, you know, mm -hmm. right beside your side. So. I picked it up and I love it so far. That's impressive. It's only taken you two years to yeah. do this well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what are your, some of your influences that you have, like other artists? Lord, probably all the way to Ricky Skaggs and Miranda Lambert. So I have a little bit of the bluegrass in me that I have. <laughs> well, I grew up singing and playing bluegrass. That's where my, my background comes from. And then country music has always been in my family as well. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you've competed in several things locally and around the area. I have. I've competed at uh, Texaco Country Show down and just little fairs. I've grown up just playing at fairs. and. You know, they're all the same. All competitions are the same. So, so as far as future plans, you want to be a musician and performer? Um, you know, of course I would love to do that. I mean, I would absolutely love to do that. But you also have to be realistic and think, you know, there's got to be other ways that money's coming in. It's just, it's hard nowadays, you know, nowadays. And trying to be in the music business, you know, like every other person in Nashville is trying to, you know, be like, not even in Nashville, in the world, mm -hmm. you know, so. Well, I think you have a lot of potential. Thank you very much. What's the first song you're going to play for us today? I'm going to play uh, one of my friend's songs that I actually, I'm singing on my demo, which mm -hmm. is not quite done yet. It'll <laughs> hopefully be done in December. I keep on saying it's going to be done this, but <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, so this first song will be Lonely Talking, and it's original by Kyle Burnett. All right, we'll take it away. Okay. If I were to call you then we'll pass 12 o'clock and say I'm sorry For telling you just what I thought would have had no reason For acting like I do and I'm ready to forget about the hell you put me through Just tell me that sounds crazy and remind me that I'm blind For it's just the cause symptom of me losing my mind That's just the lonely talking My memory walking down the road That's clearly marked dead end. That's just my way to say There's a trick my heart keeps playing i 
go on About how I lost my smile And proceed to tell you That I'd die without you here Give you all you ever wanted If I got to hold you near the Truth is I can count a hundred reasons Why you're gone I may try Lake is only a short walk away and allows you to escape from everyday life. You can exercise and relieve stress by walking around the lake or you can just sit back and enjoy the view. Eagle Lake is the perfect place to go to relax but in the next few months it's going to get even better. So what are you waiting for? Go up to the lake. You know you want to. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. We have with us again, Miss Corey Wright. Hi. What's the next song you're going to play? I'm going to be singing one of my favorite songs, Jolene by Dolly Parton. All right, let's hear it. All right. Don't take my 
your choice of me that I can never love again. He's the only one for me, Jolene. I had to have this talk with you. My happiness depends on you. It's whatever you decide to do, Jolene. Hi, my name is Stevie Vaughn and I am a Convergent Media major. The best thing about this newly created major is that I have the ability to pick up new skills in every field of communication so that I'll be prepared once I graduate. I really enjoy the hands-on experience in classes and I'm always challenged to find more effective ways to communicate. Moorhead State University provides me with the tools to succeed and pursue my goals. My name is Stevie Vaughn and I'm ready to take on the world. That's all we have for this edition of Moorhead Today. Special thanks to Mimi Pickering, Sean Parker, and the rest of the Godspell cast, as well as Miss Corey Wright. Thank Stay you. tuned next week, same time, same place. Take it away. If I give you a dollar, would you keep my secret? It's the biggest one around this little town. Oh